Hey everybody, welcome back to another episode of Jade Falcon Freeborn. So, yeah, we took a bit of a punishment last episode. We had attempted to do a um, um, uh, target acquisition mission that uh, kind of went sour. The uh, Stormcrow went down hard. Uh, we got it back. Got, we have it repaired now and everything. Um, I've moved systems back because because we were going to take so long to get everything repaired. We got part of the second lance up and running. I want to do some mixing and matching and, and stuff until we can get Griff back in service. He was out for 82 days, down to 45 now, so you can see time's passed a little bit. Our funds have dropped down to a million C bills, so we need to start pulling some missions off. We got a uh, 743,000 a month uh, financial report, so we need to start taking care of that. So let's have a look at the command center. Actually, let's have a look at the mech bay, just so I can show you what I did here real quick. So we lost the whole arm on the Stormcrow, and we lost the heat bank, which was kind of vital for this guy. Um, so what I ended up having to do was replace the one arm. I took the weapon mount that we had placed in, I believe it was the Adder or the Cougar. I think it was the Adder. Well, one of the, or the Kit Fox, I think it was, that we placed it in. Took it out of there, put it in here, and then just added three ER medium lasers um, and a heat sink. So our heat efficiency is really good on this mech still. So hot environments, we should be okay. Once again, we have to keep the pilot as cool as possible just because of the DNI cockpit. If we go into overheat, the pilot can take damage. So just got to be careful there. So I think that's probably the best later as this one's going to get for now. Um, so there's a couple things we want to look for uh, in the next few missions that we take. One, we want to find some more Clan XL engines um, just so we can get uh, good funds up and running. Second thing we want to do is get that extra Grinner piece. Uh, I don't want to have to use this Gen R2C. So actually, I'm just going to drop him in the in the uh, storage for now. It'll save us a few C bills, not a whole lot, but you know, 30,000 or 25,000. It's not bad. Um, and let's take a few missions today. So um, we're going to have to go with a mixed lance, um, mixed first and second lance. And I think we're going to start with cease and desist. We need to pay Wolf back for the what the uh, trouncing they gave us that last time. And Hell's Horse is here, kind of likes us right now. So we want to keep uh, cranking our rep up with these guys right now. So we're going to go to do a destroy base mission in the Martian environment. So let's negotiate this. And we're going to go full salvage. Hopefully we can find some good pieces. So Stormcrow is going to come out for now. What I want to do is I want to move um, uh, Mockingbird in the Atticus up here. And we'll move Blockade up one. And what I want to do now is I want to bring in Shogun. She is going to be the leader of the second lance. Uh, but what I want to do is... Um, is it the Adder I want to try out? Yes, with the medium pulses. Let's try the adder out here. Uh, the Kit Fox really needs to, we need to do something with this guy. Um, but the adder we're going to bring in. I also want to try out the 2C once it's back. we got six days or so until it's back. It's got all the uh, LRMs on it. So I want to try him out in the next mission. So let's do. Let's go this way, deploy, and get this job done. Okay, let's give these guys the what for here. Approach the base, destroy the buildings, blah, blah, blah. I've had some pretty nasty encounters on this map. So the thing about this map is these turrets can hit you like all in here. So um, it's a really, really tough map unless you've got long range weapons to quickly get stuff done. If they've got a lance of mechs in here, it can be difficult. So we're just going to move up, see where we stand. Also, the reason why I put Mockingbird in in charge rather than El Duce is Mockingbird has been like really showing how good of a uh, pilot she is. We want to get our best pilot in charge, especially with targeting. So we want to get Duce, depending on the mechs we're facing, we want to get Duce and um, um, blockade on the turrets as quick as possible. And Shogun, got that built-in flamer. Wow, I got the mask on this too. Look how fast this thing is. So high-quality scout mech here, high-quality backstabber. Okay. Let's 
We got a turret here, there's one right here, there's one in the base, and there's one back here. I'm gonna pull up a flank attack on this. Okay, we got a mech. What do we got here? We got standard turret, urban mech, Jenner, Vapor Eagle with low armor, and I can't see this turret yet. So we're gonna take a shot at the Vapor Eagle. Um, do we want to OP this? Probably. Let's see if we can claim this guy fast. Okay, significant damage. Badass. Get another Jenner. Hopefully we can get some Clan XLs out of these guys. Let's not put ourselves in a position of direct line of sight from the turrets and stuff if we can avoid it. Uh, let's just grind this guy up. And that's why she's in charge of the lance. Because badass. Alright, Duce, let's get in here and hammer this guy straight on if we can. No shooting, just running. Got it. No no man, shoot this guy too. Okay, same percentage. That's a lot of pods on that thing. Christ, look at the move on this thing. Uh, let's not be a frontliner if we can avoid it. Roger. You don't have quite the same armor. So, really bad chances to hit, but we're going to take them. Got a couple in there. Really hot running mech, too. Yeah, we got ourselves a missile turret. And another one. There's the reason why you want to get these tur turrets early. Let's see if we can finish this guy up. God, girl, you're just a murderer. Pull back a little bit here. Wow, we're really hot in this environment. Okay, that's him gone. So we got another generator and an urban mech plus turrets. That's probably the. I have no idea what the hell that is. Oh, they can, man. They can. Just. Don't jinx it. Just stop. Just stop. Affirmative. Waiting for orders. Affirmative. Okay, let's see what they got here. Ah! How can you see us? Barely hit, Commander. I've been sent along. Here comes the rain. Flight damage. Holding firm. 
Commander. Somebody over here I need you to take care of, girl. Mm, don't want to go too far. I don't know really where he is. There you are. What is up, buddy? Want to see why pulse lasers are better than AC? That hit something good. Yeah, he's melting. He is melting. Come on, what's going on? Okay, melee, huh? Wow, you turned your back, girl, really? It's a rave, guys, it's a rave. We've all got pulse laser rave weapons things. All right, let's hammer this guy from behind. Say goodnight. We want that guy. I think we do. Can only use one weapon, so we might as well use it on this guy. Uh, we're gonna fire. Should get that arm? Yeah. Get our stability back by just walking up here. Um, just gonna go this. Well, how much? Gonna go this right. I want to save this for the turrets. So let's go like this. Not quite enough. Yeah, so I corrected. Totally enough. So the lance is gone. See how many turrets we can take out next turn. Okay, not too bad. She's the good target for them to shoot at because she's got so much evasion. Um, one turret at a time. Let's get some eyes on what we can. We got eyes on all the turrets now. Wow. Do we know what? We're sitting at about 100 for this guy. How about 145? have no idea. So, she can definitely kill this turret. Not enough to do more than one. But let's multi-target. We add a bit on another one. Let's add some on this turret. Just one. Okay, that's that turret gone. With nary a miss. Look at that. Yeah. Luce. Um. Location confirmed. Want this to be a multi-target here. Pulses are going here. Missiles are going to be. Um. Oh, we can't even hit me with the missiles. All right. Well, missiles to A then. Roger. Okay. Nice one. Start on that turret. Commander. Double time. Let's go. Let's make sure this turret goes away. Ah, I can't fire everything, but we can fire these. Okay. Yeah, we can put out a bunch of damage with this guy if we can see that other turret. Going full throttle. Got the radiation, but should be able to use both. Nope. 
Well, we can get a good start on him. Almost had enough. It's go time. <laughs> it sure is. Okay, this is a multi-target. Let's wreck this base. Large, medium, medium. It's got 100 points. 200 points for a large. How many buildings do we need? We just need two, eh? Uh, okay, let's multi-target this up. A, B. Um, that should be enough on B, I think. So let's fire. We just did, buddy. We just did. You don't even need to... What? What the heck? You don't even need to move. Just shoot this guy. Firing. Firing. There it is, folks. Leopard inbound, Commander. I meet you at the LZ. All right. Contract and payment increased by 35%, which is good. Let's see what we got here. Um... Uh, no significant damage. I did forget to mention that uh, at the beginning of this episode that we, the 6% that Jade Falcon had on the home planet, um, we lost that. <laughs> it's down to zero again. So they are trying to come back, just it's really hard to come back from nothing. So I'm just taking a quick look here to see if there's anything else we want down here. No, I think we're going to take the three medium pulse lasers. Um, Definitely weapon systems that we need right now. We can throw in right now. Uh, so let's grab these. And see what else we get. Okay, one, two, three Jenner parts, two Urban Mech parts, and a Vapor Eagle part. Uh, ER Micro Laser, kind of cool. 0.25 tons. Damage 10, huh? Micro Pulse Laser, now we got like four of these now. Three, three of them? Okay. Small pulse heat sink. Okay, so, eh, eh, whatever. It is what it is. Ooh, a lot of stuff changing hands. Not a lot of clan stuff, but a lot of inner sphere stuff going on. All right, 35,000, not bad at all. That was a pretty good engagement. All right, let's get our guys repaired here. Shouldn't take too long. And we want to get that Jenner back. Cool, now we can use the Jenner. So let's have a look at contracts here. Uh, we've got Fire for Effect. Target acquisition, yeah, screw you, forget that idea. <laughs> uh, noisy Neighbors, yeah, I don't know. Penitent Justin, Justice, Escort. Um, in the Badlands, probably pretty easy to do. Covert Supplies by the Pirates, really? Oh. Well, yeah. 264 days away. Should we take that one? Jeez, I don't know. Uh, take the bait. Local government heraldry. Martian environment. Should we take the bait, guys? Let's take the bait. See what we can get out of this. Two skulls. This one's going to be a little long. Well, this one's always a wild card. Let's go with take the bait. See how we do. Once again, just looking for parts. It's Martian environment. Gonna go full salvage. And we're gonna swap out the adder this time. We'll leave Shogun in. But let's bring in the Jenner 2C with the uh, shit ton of missile launchers on it. And see how that does. So let's deploy this and get it done. Alright, let's see what we're up against here. See what kind of trap this is. Okay, I remember this map now. Uh, Waiting for orders. Gonna go this way. Use the swirlies. Yep. So on the way here, between episodes, I was able to pull off a couple of uh, other repairs to the Argo. So we've got the. Uh, Improved automation now, which will get the third mech bay up and running at 100% once we get it. 
it was really cheap. It was like 100000 or something, so I just picked it up. Also, um, working on thrusters. Why has Shogun got such a low initiative? Waiting for orders. Actually, this isn't bad. I thought this mech was going to be a lot slower, but it's not bad. All right. Let's see what we're up against, girl. Mm, that'll take a while to get there, I think. What do you need? I kind of like the name Atticus on this mech. Grinner was always like I don't know. It's kind of a goo it's kind of a goofy name. You'd kind of expect it to be like painted up like a creepy clown or something. It's the Grinner. <laughs> I'm here. Copy that, Commander. All right. Gonna use normal ammo on this guy until we need the uh, accuracy of trying to hit something. Commander. See if we can get an early shot on somebody up here. Huh. Oh, what's this? Fire truck. Let's eliminate the fire truck. Looks like enemy They're gonna need reinforcements. Girl, I don't care what your percentages are to hit. It's like, might as well be like 99% on all the shots. She's so ridiculously good. Yeah. Let's move. Shogun on fifteen. I'm receiving you. All right, let's move. Standing by. Okay. Ready for orders. Move order received. Just want to brace in case they can see us. Also to give a chance for Shogun to catch up. Yes, Commander. Ten four. Uh, Commander. We had that nasty surprise last time. Huh. Good to go. Affirmative. Long range fire support. Yes, Commander. Point blank skull smasher. Switch it to HE so I don't forget. Huh. The speed at which they're moving in is got me concerned. I don't hear any vehicles. So it's got to be four max. Uh huh. That's got me concerned. Find out what we're up against here. Shit, I can't see anything. Uh 
Oh, I hope it's not like ambushers and gorillas and stuff. Oh. I got a bad feeling about this, guys. Raven. Got a bad feeling about this. Okay, what do we got here? Raven 2, okay. Ex Mortis, we gotta kill that guy. Okay, we got a fire. So we got a Raven, a Raven 2, an Ex Mortis, and something. If that Ex Mortis can move in, we can get back strikes on him. Going to cool off, maybe? He's def definitely segregating himself from the rest, which is a bad idea for him. Let's not give that guy a line of sight. Five point four percent. Point nine percent. Well, it's got lots of ammo. Let's use it. Not bad for heat either, either on this Martian environment. You get like two rounds like that. It's pretty good. Just wish we had a better chance to hit. Should be able to see that guy from here. Roger that. He fucking vanished. Are you kidding me? How's that even possible when it oh my god. What are you guys doing? What's up, buddy? Evade this. Gotcha. Okay, the mortis is moving. I think it's him anyway. We'll know if they've only got three mechs in a second. Good to go. Out. Hopefully this crest is gonna give us enough defense. It's gonna fire. Target eliminated. Roger that. Standing by. Stealth won't help you if you don't stick together. You gotta turn to cool off. Ah, oh, man. This 
So they've got a raven, an ex mortis, and a question mark. The raven's in here somewhere. At least I think it's the raven. Waiting for orders. You'll, you'll know why I'm doing this in a second. Christ, I can't see anybody. Good ECMs, man. There you are. Ow. What is up, buddy? Um, we're going to offensive push this guy. I want to push him back next turn. And I'm going to look for... Let's go for the arm. I think that's where the uh, weapon is. Let's hope that's where it was. No idea. What's up, buddy? Okay, maybe we should hit this guy with, uh... We only got a couple of turns of Artemis, but let's go with, with it this turn. And fire. Grimokin? What the hell was that again? I remember we faced one of those once before, but I can't remember what it was. I was hoping Mockingbird was going to be in striking distance, like, of this guy. But it looks like we're going to have to go after this guy. Taking a huge risk here. But it's Mockingbird, so, you know. Thirty-five tonner. Nice camel pattern. Well, nice camel pattern that you used to have. Ah, <laughs> oh, I love you. I love you. Marry me. If I wasn't already married, I'd marry her. That's awesome. Well, I gotta say, no, no one holds a candle to my wife. My wife's the most incredible person in the world. I'm sure we all, all everyone who's married, well, okay, everyone who's happily married, I'm sure feels that way. If you're not happily married, you don't feel that way. My wife is really totally awesome. All right, let's get into here. Let's clean this up. Thanks for coming out, buddy. Receiving you. They had the stones. Moving I mean, they had the ability to take us down here. You know what would be really interesting? Here's the thing. And I know it's probably hard to code. If you're playing a battle like this, it would be nice to be able to swap sides. So, for instance, if you come in overwhelmingly strong, in a, like in a match like this, these guys are pretty good, right? that you're able to flop sides and play the other side in the same battle to see if you would be able to defeat your side with the mechs that they had. That would be kind of cool. Because that would be, a, that would have been an interesting reversed match. Mission successful. Alright, 33,000. That should cover repairs, I think. Because we didn't take all that much. The Nova took most of the damage. 
Uh, X mortis parts. Let's hope we get a lot of those. Um, Raven twos, Raven parts. Eh. Chainsaw, fluid gun, beagle probe. That is not a sense. Is that does that go in the head? I don't think so. Com suites, com suite plus three. Um, gonna drop it in there for now. ECM pirate, pirate jammer. Eh. Guardian ECM. Let's take that. Double heat sink kits. Now we do need cash, so. Um, Stealth X is 100,000. Stealth is 300,000. Artemis. I mean, the other thing, too, is we could put stealth armor on our on our secondary lance. Just have them all stealth. Something to consider. I don't think we want to take those right now, though. We want to look at our financial reports. So... Um, yeah, double heat sink. Why are these? Oh yeah, because there's two of them. There. Uh, let's take one of these. I don't think we want the comm suite right now. Let's grab the other double heat sink kit. We want to sell these. I think that's the way we'll go. Um, yeah, I think that's the way we'll go. We need the ECM suite for the second lance for sure. So let's confirm this. One, two, three X mortis parts, nice. Two Raven two parts, Raven part, endo composite, meh. So okay, we got we did okay. We got three X mortis parts, which is nice. We are surrounded. Hell's horses took Delios from Wolf. Diamond Shark took Hellgate from Wolf. Nice. Fifty two thousand. A little more repairs than I thought, but that's okay. All right, let's sell those two double heat sink kits before the end of the month here. Uh, let's go to the store. And selling. Some interesting stuff here, too. That was one thing that I wanted to buy here. Let me just go down. You know, I'm going to sell a couple of these because we're not going to be using them right away. Uh, we will be using them later on, but we don't need them right now. Um, just to get a bit more C bills in the bank here. So regular double heat sink kits. We got three of them now. Let's get well, let's hold on to one just in case. Well, you know what? We don't have regular double heat sinks, so let's just sell all three. So we got two hundred and ah, we got a nice amount now. Wanna hang on to the cores, I think. Well, we don't need all the cores. We can sell one of the two eighties, for instance. So we're gonna have thirty thousand. Just seeing if we can get to uh Compact heat sink we can't use unless we have a compact heat sink engine, I believe. Is that not? I think that's true. So we don't need that. Let's get rid of that. Regular heat sinks we don't need. Let's get rid of those. Prototype double heat sink kit we don't need that. Let's get rid of that. Um, all right. I don't think there's anything in here. Regular Faro. Yeah, let's ditch it. I know we picked it up one day. I would completely forgotten about getting rid of that. We don't really need it. We got the Clan Pharaoh, which is better. Guardian ECM, Patchworks. Not a lot in here we want to get rid of. The Void System is another thing we want to start using. Um, now, in here, there was, if I go here, Improved Fire Control System. I want to put this on... Um, on the uh, Stormcrow. So I'm going to buy this. New equipment available. It's very rare now that I'm buying things, but there, that is definitely something that we definitely need. Uh, so let's go to Mech Base here before we finish up today. Stormcrow Prime. And let's put a couple things on here. So First thing we want to do is we want to change out or put in the improved fire control system, which is nice. So this gives us called shop modifier improved by 15%. Uh, and I think this gives us a bonus too, doesn't it? No. 
thought it did. I guess it doesn't. No big deal. But uh, that's a bonus. So then let's take out... Let's do a couple things here. Let's do this. You know what? We haven't tried this this way yet. Let's leave it this way. I want to see how accurate these are with the uh, weapon mount and the TTS weapons. We can get some nice, you know, half decent damaged pinpoint weapons. The 33s are nice. So let's leave it like this for now. So we'll just put in this improved fire control system. This could be the guy that we used to take off arms and legs with. I might actually switch it back and change out the medium pulses and put in three ER more three more ER mediums on the one side. Uh, and use the pulses elsewhere and use this guy as a pinpointer. All right, so we're going to do that and let's manage our tasks a bit better here. Nova up front, the rest coming in like this. So it's going to be five days. We'll go take us past our financial report. All right, so we're going to end the episode here, guys. I hope you like it. Um, if, you haven't, if you haven't subscribed, please free to, feel free to subscribe and leave any comments in the comment section down below. When we come back next time, hopefully... Uh, sorry, the medical team's got to go in. Can't have our mech techs down. Um, so when we come back next time, hopefully, well, Griff won't be back, but um, he's still got 40 days to go. But we'll be able to take a few more missions. Um, I think I want to take that escort mission. Um, it's against Clan Wolf, I believe, isn't it? Penitent Justin's 521. Escort in the Badlands. Uh, again, it's Clan Diamond Shark, so that's fine. It's uh, two and a half skulls. We should easily be able to do that with the lance we have uh, with Shogun in. Uh, maybe we'll bring the Jenner. Maybe we won't. I don't know yet. Um, but I'm thinking that's what I think we could do. All right. So until next time, we'll see you all later.